But in the world where anybody can have a platform, anybody can be influential, anybody can literally change the world and how they respond to things, even if it's in minute ways, I feel like that's something that should be handled responsibly. Whether it comes to things about media, talking about the shit that you like or dislike, like do so in ways that are like at least holistic to approach it in a way where people are gonna understand what you're saying and not run off and think that you're some kind of like especially prominent authority because you yelled us a little bit harder than somebody else like no your take is just fucking bad and like a big thing people are harping on is the diamonds are redeemed too quickly well yeah they wanted to more so dude do not get me started on that stupid fuck ass criticism yo i'm going to assume you're familiar with the very specific youtube video that was making the rounds that critique that series that i'm not going to name because it was taken down and like i don't even feel like speaking that shit back into ethereal existence but i'm pretty sure you know what i'm talking about the video that the creator himself disavowed or the other one by a chud actually i forgot about the one by the chud Yes, a Lily Orchard one. This is why I don't even want to specify too hard because yes, it was disavowed. However, the damage that video has permanently done to the discourse surrounding this show is fucking unprecedented. It is ridiculous how many people still make points from that stupid ass video. And yes, it's over, it's gone. It'll never make the rounds again. It'll probably make the rounds again in a couple of years. But like, that shit was dumb. Bless Lily's heart, but me and people have a complete lack of media literacy. Nah, for real. We have a bunch of really excellent like comments on like what was actually going down during the series or, or just media in general that's the beautiful thing about youtube is that like, people are actually talking about these very specific relatively niche things compared to broader media in depth and they get a lot of shit done when they talk about it and they teach people hey this is what that meant this is what this could have meant i think my issue with the arc of commentary and conversation around the show that that video started was that it was just specifically bad faith i i just don't like it when people take things in bad faith that really grinds my fucking gears it it really does. Also, a very critical thing for people on, people on the internet to realize. You can just disavow and disengage. You can, but at the same time, this might sound a bit extra, but there's a certain responsibility that you carry when you do put these things out there, right? And for a show that has been, and I'm, I'm talking about the show, but I'm talking about I'm talking about this in a more broader sense here. When there's something that is like as unequivocally good and positive that has brought positive things and positive creations and positive influence on the people's lives at a show like that and it's gonna apply to anything but at a show like that and you have a platform where you can really like help people understand this thing from all angles get some of that media literacy <laughs> try to come up with a good way of saying what i wanted to say about edgy contrarians but basically two things that seem counterintuitive are both true one get their asses two some people throw out the attention they get from being stupid. Yeah, that's the part I get like, you know, let me just show the fuck out and not give these people my fucking time about. But also it's like, I don't want to give y'all niggas free reign of the place. Her having free reign of the place made me incredibly uncomfortable. I love these things. I don't want you to talk shit about things that I love. And like, yeah, the words may not mean shit, but in the world where, you know, anybody can have a platform and anybody can be influential, anybody can, not to make it sound that dramatic, but like can literally <laughs> and how they respond to things even if it's in minute ways i feel like that's something that should be handled responsibly whether it comes to things about media or things about like talking about the shit that you like or dislike like do so in ways that are like at least holistic if you're not going to be respectful if you don't actually respect the things that's fine but at least approach it in a way where people are going to understand what you're saying and not run off and think that you're some kind of like especially prominent authority because you yelled us a little bit harder than somebody else no <laughs> your take is just fucking bad you're not looking at things from the full fucking angle like you are looking at it from narrow views that may be correct in some respects or may have some degree of accuracy to it but if you leave the message half cooked you're not getting the right message across you're not even serving the purpose that you want to serve in terms of outlining what here is wrong and what here is not you're not interested in that you're interested in just getting your fucking word out and having people go oh you're so right <laughs> like no be more responsible with the shit you say that's all i'm saying and i say that knowing that at some point i'm gonna fuck that shit up my damn self but it's still like oh my god the people that thrive are usually a lot more obvious and a lot more insidious about it because they just won't give a fuck they just will not care there's some people that'll do that in a way where like contrarians like in for example in the political space where people will just be like <laughs> gender is fake and like shit like that they just want views they just want clicks they just want money whatever the fuck it is fuck them niggas but there's other people that will make bad arguments for things stick with them and they'll actually believe them and they'll actually like continue rolling with it in the 
these very strange ways and it's like i can tell you're smarter than this and you can see why people are responding in ways that are negative you just don't want to engage because you want to feel right that is what it is you're not stupid and that's the part that really gets me that some of you people are not dumb you're not dumb to not see these things you're just not looking into these things that goes further than this media taste that goes into every single thing i'm talking about such a potent point for such a tiny baby beef issue like we're talking about fucking children's cartoons but like it just matters to me it matters to me a lot because media matters the way we respond to these things matters the way that people get influenced by a game or a show or a cartoon matters a lot and the way that we paint these frames and allow people to look at these things from the angle of somebody else matters too because that replicates people will go forward and try to spread the positives of these things or the negatives about it and try to get people to engage that's the whole nature of art engagement if you do that in a way that is like not your best fucking effort not actually trying to make a whole good faith case for this shit then what, what are you doing what are you doing